Hey everyone, Coops here from the whole box and dice. Ixalan, pack one, pick one, back at it again. Looks like treasure map was a pretty consensus pick one last time. So hopefully we get to, you know, get some cards to challenge the rare. That would be nice. You know, cards like uh, Lightning Strike, the five drop charging Monstrosaur. Monstrosaur is it? Ravasaur? Charging something or other. The five mana travel ace. I think cards like that, you know, Lightning Strike, like I mentioned, probably do challenge your, you know, your rare. Certainly if you can get some... Um, you can get some janky rares, that's for sure, out <laughs> of some of these packs. But, um, you know, fingers crossed. But I'm glad, you know, glad people were on board with the treasure map pick. So, see what we get this time. Ho hopefully, you know, draft for Ixalan have been a little bit kinder to yourselves than they have to me. I've been getting plenty of 2-1s um, since my first couple of 3-0s. So, fingers crossed we're, uh, we get back on that horse sooner rather than later. No horses in these packs. We've got some dinosaurs and some vampires. Favorable wins. The Freebooter, Court of the Feast, and Kinjali's Sunwing. So it's a bit of a shame because uh, I feel like the Sunwing's pretty much an auto pick after I said let's hope there's something to challenge the rare. 2-3 three for 3. It's a flyer. It's a dinosaur. So it works in a lot of those dino decks. Interesting card because it works in probably both the red-white aggressive dino deck as well as the green-white ramp one, because it slows our opponents down um, with creatures entering the battlefield tapped. There definitely are some other cards that probably nothing can test this, but there are some other interesting cards to look at. There was quite a lot of flyers in that pack with the Freebooter and the, um, and the Siren in there as well. Definitely not picking those over the Sunwing, but we did see the favorable wins, and I think it's it's probably hard to you know force flyers in this format, but you know probably a blue black flyers or a blue white flyers, you know with cards like the Imperial Aerosaur and obviously cards like the Sunwing certainly wouldn't go uh, wouldn't go you know too far astray. And a three four would be a great body for three mana, you know uh, curving into um, you know curving out of favor wins really nicely. I think a lot of probably the other stuff in the pack is a little bit too cute. Um, you know, you've got the 4 mana 3 3 that becomes a fly. That has some interesting value to it as well, plus the blood letter. Um, then the rest of it, like, you know, with some cyborg tech cards with things like Demolish and Demystify. Um, definitely cards that are handy to have out of the boards, but rarely you're probably main boarding them. And, and uh, you know, like I said, obviously not picking them first out of a pack. So, look, let me know in the comments for this one, ladies and gentlemen, was the Sunwing the clear consensus pick? Is it, is it you know, is it easy to, uh, you know, or is it hard to force flies in this draft format? I, I will actually speak on, on Court of the Feast as well. I feel like this is a really weird gold card because the gold cards often allow you to be, say, playing red and then splashing a bit of green if your gold card's red green. But if you're playing vampires, you're in black white anyway. Um, and you, like it's going to lock you into. It's going to lock you into black white for sure, but it's. I don't feel like it's a great card, and I'd probably. I'd probably take the siren, and the freebooter over it. To be honest, um, I'd probably even take the four mana three three that gets flying if you control another dinosaur. I'd probably pick that. It'd probably be my fourth or fifth pick in in all seriousness. Call of the feast. Um, I do like that it. Gives you a couple of bodies, but yeah, it's just, I feel like it's not exactly, it doesn't feel like a gold card, to be honest, and certainly not in this kind of draft format where from four you're starting to get some real serious value. You know, yes, four mana for three dudes is nice, but they're all just one ones. Um, there's no Vampire Lord in this either, besides like the Vanquisher's Banner, which works for anything, so yeah, I just, interesting, very interesting. I, I, I think I think the card looks a lot better doesn't perform as well as I'd like to. I've seen a couple of people drop it and have gone, well, that's kind of annoying, but it's not really anything that I'm terrified by at this point. Certainly if they had flying and lifelink, it would be absolutely terrifying, but pretty happy to go with the Sunwing for this one. But as I said, let us know in the comments. If you are enjoying this video series, make sure you do hit the thumbs up button so to let me know to keep doing more of the pack one pick ones hit the subscribe button if you are new thank you so much for taking the time to watch this one i've been coops this is the whole box and dice thanks again for watching peace